Hey there, Pisces clan. Hope you're doing well. This is Jamie. I'm actually going to um, be doing a quick bonus for you with the veil being super thin. It's Halloween. So I just wanted to see what's coming through today um, and what you need to know. So let's take a quick peek for this little bonus. Just remember, this is a timeless read and a general one and may not resonate for all of you. Just keep in mind too that free will is in play. So what comes through may not be fully connected to you and things change within moments, within minutes, within thoughts and beliefs. So let's have a quick peek. Current energy. We've got broken heart, the thinking woman, hostilities. I feel like there's something that potentially wants to be confronted here, Pisces, um, but it's an internal battle right now on a situation, how someone's feeling here. Uh, and maybe you're, you're not having conversations or don't want to bring up a situation because you don't want the conflict. Um, yeah, I'm feeling like a little sadness here. Just getting some kipper and then I'll get a couple more. So we've got a gift, mature man, imprisonment, community, marriage. My computer decided to die again. I don't know what's going on with it. I think I just need to get a new one. I think I told you guys that probably a month or two ago. I'm, I'm, I'm holding on. I'm holding on. All right. So I'm on... Just a bit of a different recording setup. Okay, guys. Um, gift, mature man, imprisonment, community, marriage. This There's so much energy that's infused here, Pisces, for different areas of your life. And I, and I can see and sense the strength in... Um, just staying together for yourself. Like I think you're trying to figure out something within you, um, both on a relational front and on a purpose front. Like you're trying to figure out the two and if they are aligned for where you are and where you're going. Um, it's interesting because this gift energy keeps showing up. This sudden wealth, this sudden opportunity keeps showing up for you. And I feel like this is a similar energy showing up here with the gift and the mature man. So whether this is a mature person coming towards you, wanting to present something to you and an opportunity, but somewhere around you. And I do feel like this may be someone that you're dealing with. There's just someone who's really trapped in the way that they're thinking, expressing, communicating, um, I'm just feeling with this mice energy, it's some message of some kind as well. Uh, but a c community, this person could be in community. The work that they do is related to the community. This could also be something that someone has done that has impacted a relationship when I look at marriage and how it's portrayed to you versus to how people see it is very different. And maybe there's a lot underneath that. A lot of people aren't aware your situation or what you're going through. Um, but let's, let's get some further clarifiers on, on what's happening here and what you need to know, because there's definitely something happening that I think undercover, just meaning like it's private, it's your situation right at the end of the day. And I think there's a lot that you're trying to navigate and, and figure out here. So let's get some more information on this gift energy. So King of Pentacles and Mature Man. So this could be the a combination of the energy here, Pisces, with the King of Pentacles. It's someone that seems to be quite successful has some form of money, wealth behind them, um, is quite grounded in their approach, maybe a leader of some kind being this king energy. And it could be that whoever that you're, you're dealing with or whatever's being presented, this person um, who's going to show up, yeah, it just has something that I think can really work out in your favor if you're looking in terms of career, uh, next opportunity in, in, in wherever you're going regarding your purpose, some goal and desire that you have. Maybe too that this is someone that can support whoever's going through some difficulty right now. Let's get a little bit more on this King of Pentacles. Thank you, Spirit. 
just going to move these up, guys. So with the King of Pentacles, I've got the Seven of Wands. So I'm just going to put that there. Is it fitting in? Okay. So Pisces... There's definitely something here that you're going after and I think that you truly believe in here with this Seven of Wands and this King of Pentacles. But I also think there's someone that is, with, you may not realize, like fighting for you also. And that's in a, in a respect to can see how you feel about the situation, the way that you show up for a situation. They really see that. And I feel like there's, there's some key um, alignment there of what, what, you, what you both want. Um, but again, I don't know if this is a romantic connection with this King of Pentacles. Only you would know that. But I just, yeah, I just feel like there's some connection here that you guys are working towards or trying to get onto the same path and journey because you're both working towards something that you believe in. So this is good. Let's have a look more at this mature man. So we've got Six of Cups and Page of Wands. Interesting. There's a lot of child energy or um, younger energy around here with both the Page of Wands and the Six of Cups. What is it that you need to see, Pisces? I really, I'm, I'm really connecting into your innocent self, your... It's like you're seeking guidance right now from maybe a more mature figure this could be a mother figure, um, like masculine figure, father figure. I just feel like you're looking for some guidance right now on your way forward is what I feel. And even though you have all the resources, I think there's just a part of your inner child right now that needs to be nurtured, especially if you're going through a broken heart. You might just need people around you that is a safe, warming place for you that you can kind of lean into. And it may even be harder, especially if some of those figures that have, you know, maybe passed on, aren't around that you're used to leaning in maybe they've just you know not in your life anymore for some reason but I just feel like there's this I just see the vision I see is just kind of curling up in a ball just wanting wanting to really be cared and nurtured for right now and maybe with this uh, mature man energy as well that this person who does come through is also quite nurturing maybe more so as a mentor of some kind for some of you where that this next opportunity is coming on through. So you, whatever your situation is, is one or the other here is feels like what is showing up. So just take what resonates Pisces. Let's have a look at this imprisonment energy and what we need to know with this thinking woman. Cause some of you, I think just are feeling a bit stuck right now in a situation and trying to figure out how do you, how do you get to a place of see three of pentacles and nine of cups Wherever someone's stuck, whether this is you or someone that you're dealing with, I really think that you're trying to find a way how to get, how to push through this, how to get through this, how to make this come together and work. And I, I think for some of you, you really believe that you need support here, someone that can kind of help you rebuild. But I also think that maybe you're trying to call on this person to say, hey, I don't want to fight. I want to work together. But right now, the way that you're thinking or the way that maybe you're sitting in like we're just stuck. So how do we get through this stuck energy? And I feel like you're trying to make something get to a place of contentment and happiness. And I think there's some part of you, Pisces, recognizing that if this person can't shift out of this energy, it's kind of like, well, how, how long do I need to stay here and stuck? Because it's not what I truly desire. I've got these goals and desires that I want to achieve. And I, while I might want to achieve them with you or whatever this may be, I think you're really assessing your life and where things are kind of holding you back. You know, maybe there is an energy around you that's keeping you stuck. And I think maybe that's something that you're looking at. Let's have a look at this community energy and what we need to know. Let's see what we've got here. The hanged one. Maybe you're worried what people are thinking. I mean, you've got a lot of cups energy, so you're feeling a lot Pisces, it seems. And with this veil being super thin right now, this is a time to really connect into the things that 
maybe you've been feeling deep that matter you know spiritually it's like everything is touching you right now and um on an emotional level because I, I i do feel the heaviness but at the same time i feel your strength pisces so i like that um for you i don't know if for some of you if you're worried what people are going to think where things aren't working or perhaps things aren't going great. But I do see this belief within you, Pisces, that you can get to a place that is happy, connected and fulfilling. But I think you're really looking at how to make that happen, especially if you're stuck in a situation that you don't really want to be in. But you're also looking for ways to make it work, ways to bring people together, to build on a solid foundation. But something just seems to be in conflict right now with the hostilities imprisonment and community there's just something that seems a little disconnected is what i'm feeling let's have a look at this marriage energy and what you need to know yeah you're looking at some plans here i'm just going to reshuffle give me a sec <clears throat> what do we need to know with this two of wands energy Five of Swords, see? Uh, so there's some connection here, strong connection. Um, this could be a significant relationship. This could be a marriage, a partner. This could be in business. Someone that you have a very significant contract with, soul contract with, okay, is what I feel. Um, someone that works usually in partnership together. I just feel like there's some plans here that maybe you guys are trying to work towards. I don't know how strong the plans are, but it just seems like there's conflict around this connection. Um, let's see what the advice is here. What's the advice for Pisces? What's the advice for Pisces? So for some of you, it seems like you are contemplating just going on your own here. Because of the way someone is thinking or regarding a situation, you're really looking at that here. We can see this. Um, Another thing is, is really about focusing on yourself, Pisces, and nurturing yourself. Because if this, whatever situation that you're kind of in, and look, we've got the Three of Swords on the bottom again. But um, what else do we need to know here about this? Thank you. Yeah. Eight of Swords. We've got the Five of Cups. So there's there's some sadness and heaviness. Um, maybe you're feeling a bit defeated right now because of a situation, Pisces. There's something or someone that's where you feel stuck or trapped or someone else is in that energy. But we can see here with this four of wands, it's like you want to get back connected to a place that you, you feel like you're on the right path, that you feel like is connected, home, safe, supported and in progress of, towards your goals, your dreams and aspirations. What's hidden spirit that we need to know? What's hidden? I mean, I don't know how much this is hidden, Pisces. I think this is, you know, somewhat reality of the way things work. But the more that there is some form of competition, I don't know if you guys are trying to compete for beliefs, for truths, for what's right, for what's for what's not right. Um, but we can see here that something is really um, potentially about to break down, okay? Um I'm just also getting like, this is also a time to kind of trust in spirit a little bit more instead of trying to control any situation that you may be. Maybe you're wanting person to behave a certain way or to feel a certain way or to connect a certain way. And maybe they're not right now because they're really stuck in something. Um, so just be, just be mindful of that if you're trying to force anything. And I can understand that when, you know, you're in a place where you're just like, you know, God help me. Like, how do, how do we get out of this situation? 
Um, so just be mindful what you what you may be manifesting there as well. Um, I've also got the King of Swords and the Two of Cups. So I'm not sure if you're dealing with an air energy, uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. I just feel like there's either some choice to be made or something to reflect on on how to connect because I am seeing this spiritual essence here, Pisces, regarding a connection, okay? Um, but I'm also getting that sometimes there's this part that, you, that of surrendering and letting go. Let's get some final messages for you today, Pisces, to see um, what else you may need to know to help support you. Some final messages for Pisces. We've got strength energy. Great inner strength, release harsh judgment, forgiveness and compassion. You know what's really hard sometimes, Pisces, and I, and I get this and it's just, it's coming up, is that sometimes we are holding strength for other people and wanting to make sure everyone's okay but you've also got to make sure you're okay because I, I do I do understand that feeling when it comes to wanting to care for people but sometimes we're depleting our energy to always you know say the right thing make sure that they're okay when there's they're so caught up in their world they're not seeing the impact it's having on other people including you and I just feeling right now that in this strength of yours, in this care of yours, in the way that you keep showing up, bless you and bless your heart, right? And I think, like I said, there's a part of you that I feel needs to focus on you, make sure that you're nurturing yourself and giving yourself self-care amongst the, the unknown right now. Because I feel like with this Eight of Swords, that's a part of it, the part of the little bit of struggle that you see both within you and perhaps the situation that you're dealing with is that you're kind of feeling stuck. We've got the imprisonment energy and the Eight of Swords, which is a similar mental energy, okay? Because there is sadness and disappointment here because something's not working, Um and we can see the conflict that's arising. But with this strength, Pisces, this forgiveness and compassion, sometimes it's forgiving ourselves as well and being compassionate to ourselves, not just to everybody else. And I think with seeds well, well planted, a temporary pause in action, unnecessary worry. This might be just a time to allow you to take care of yourself a little bit more where, you, where it hasn't been so much because I think you've been taking care of a situation or something else Um hoping that you'll get that freedom that comes with it but I think you know you may be realizing that right now no matter what you potentially are trying other than when you're just poised and just being compassionate allowing people to hear what they need to hear while I think you feel it in some regard I, I'm feeling a little bit not necessarily resentment maybe there is a little bit but just this little walking on eggshells kind of energy at the same time I just feel that when you have a little bit shift more focus on yourself still can give care I'm just seeing that there's something else that's growing for you um, and it's hard because I think when you care about a situation you want to nurture it but I feel anything you do other than just words of support is going to kind of cause more uh, like sandpaper, like rubbing on sandpaper is the energy that I'm getting. It's just the feedback that you may be receiving, whether energetically, you know, mindset, whatever it might be, or response from this person. It's just, it's really uncomfortable feeling. So I just feel like it's like that walking on eggshells experience right now, potentially for you. And this could be vice versa energy guys, but we can see here that this ace of air energy is something new that's coming in, getting really clear on something here and if you guys are trying to work on a fresh start or you're trying to consider the fresh start, either which way you go, you know that it's not going to be easy, right? A fresh start, a new beginning, you're usually walking away from something else. Sometimes that can be easy initially. And then as we move along, we're like, what this could have been, what, you know, oh, I had this. You start seeing the things that you actually did appreciate that maybe you weren't appreciating before and again this is human nature this is psychology right that, that that things that can happen when things get a little bit um difficult as we're trying to make change in our lives but 
I'm just saying this is part spiritual journey, past Pisces is getting really connected to what this nine of cups is and this 10 of cups is for you. I can see, you know, you deeply want to, to be in that and feel that again with a situation. Um, but there's something coming in that I think is going to be super awesome for you with this gift energy, this King of Pentacles energy and working towards something that you both seem to be on the same page and believe in. Um, so I like that. I do feel this is a different energy to a situation that you're dealing with when it comes to this broken heart energy. Um, and maybe this is a healthy support that while a distraction, it's a healthy support because it's focusing more on some other goal that you have. And I've... Again, I can just see this conflict you're concerned about. You want to have a conversation. There's something on your mind. But right now, Pisces, you know, we have free will. But I'm just the sense that I'm getting here is just to hold hold back a little bit. And again, do your best just to express love, to express care, this, this unconditional kindness within you. Because I'm just, you're going to figure out when the time is right um, or a situation that you just need to kind of break down, right? Move away from potentially, but I am just seeing conflict right now. But what I like with this tower, it's burning on top the foundation right now. Um, I can just see there's some people hurt around it, challenged around this situation, but I feel with a little more persistence, prayer, gentleness on yourself, self-care, that there's a potential of something coming back to this place. But I think you, it's figuring out how to, and this is the walking on eggshells part, is how do you not get into conflict? And I think that's the biggest challenge here right now regarding a person, a situation, because someone is trapped in their thinking, their way of being, maybe just the way that they communicate. But I can see here that there is, either a choice or a potential of something to get connected again. Um, but it is going to take time. So if you just needed this, this message right now, just know Pisces that you are supported. Okay. Um, on a spiritual level. So, if, you know, call in whatever you need to call in, pray in whatever you need to pray in, but just remember to take care of you. I do feel your, your sadness and anything, you know, that challenging that's going on. So sending you a whole bunch of love and support. Um, and just remember, you're awesome. You're beautiful and keep doing you Pisces. We'll speak soon. Bye now.